wasn't a gold ring. It, it was a, a, it wasn't a necklace with a locket on it. it. It was my something so dear to me. It was so dear. She 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 took my she took my identity. I was born a being to be the best of creation in purity, divinity, the lineage of Adam and Eve, chosen ancestors of the human nation. Moments after my entry, the journey began with me as an actress center stage in a divine plan. But there would be obstacles in a maze filled with strife as I began to travel through time, space, experiences, life. Infinite, infantile, ignorant beginnings with words they defined. My reality, my God, myself, you, the world around me, even my own mind. All problems related to our adult life find their origins in our childhood life. We deal with emotions too much. So why don't we just go ahead and be <laughs> white then and make everything dry and abstract with no rhythm and no reeling for sheer sensuous pleasure? Oh yes! Let's just go on and be white. Well, we're right in the middle of it. No use holding out, holding on to ourselves. Mm -mm. Let's think our way out of feelings. Let's abstract ourselves some families. And maybe, maybe tonight, I'll create me. No other objects. Hm. Just thought. Which is in spiritual evolution because godliness is ripe and is fertile. Thinking ain't going to do me a darn bit of good tonight. <laughs> because I need to be loved. And having an audacity to say, where are you? And I don't know who to say it to. What Sister Star is depicting is an example of how conditioning occurs when we are in a dominant culture. For example, as African Americans, we have been enculturated into the dominant white culture of America. This is a part of our historical heritage, a significant part, a significant part which, was, which has helped us to form the concepts of who we are, how we interact with each other and with the dominant culture, and ultimately how we perceive everything around us. It has shaped our concepts of love. It has helped us to develop our complexes of superiority or inferiority. And it has also conditioned us to respond with certain emotions. As Sister Star said, we deal with emotions too much. A fragmented vision I began to see. Was this child in the mirror really me? Who am I really supposed to be? I watch, I observe, I learn and I grow. The examples of others formed everything that I know. A carbon copy duplicating cycles of pain, anger, mm -hmm. violence, sorrow, neglect, love, motherhood, fatherhood, family, joy, religion. Lost in perceptions of deception, unhealthy affections, procrastination, transmutation, and translation. Unaware that my visions are reflections of a reflection 
That's just a deflection of yet another reflection. What you just saw depicted by Sister Rabia and Sister Star is an example of how our perceptions are shaped by those around us. Children mimic the examples set by their parents and often shape their ideals and begin to make judgments about right and wrong, good and bad, love and hate, and other life decisions based on those examples. This is done in an effort to either duplicate or avoid the duplication of what they see. The reflections of parents are often found in their children in their children's children, and so forth. These cycles of unliberated choices can continue on for generations and result in layers upon layers of conditionings that mask who we were really created to be. I've lost it. Touch with reality. I don't know who's doing it. I thought I was, but I was so stupid that I was able to be hurt. And that's not real, not anymore. I should be immune. If I'm still alive, and that's what I was discussing, and I'm still alive, and my dependency on other living beings for love I survive on intimacy and tomorrow. And that was all I had going. And the music was like smack. And you knew about that. And you still refused. My dance was not enough. And it was all I had. But being alive and being a woman and being colored is a metaphysical dilemma I have not conquered yet. Do you see my point? My soul is too ancient to understand the separation between soul and gender. My love is too beautiful to have thrown back on my face. My love is too delicate to have thrown back on my face. My love is too beautiful to have thrown back on my face. My love is too music to have me thrown back on my face. And my love is too sad and to have it thrown back on my face. My love is too mad just to have him thrown back on my face. And my huh. love is too huh. complicated. Complicated. Huh. Complicated. 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 Huh. Complicated.